everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna be making a super budget friendly, quick and easy slow cooker potato and cheese soup. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today we're going to make a really quick and easy, I say quick, but it's quick to throw together. And it's very easy, and it's a potato soup, a creamy potato soup, that you guys are gonna love, that I am considering to be a pantry pull recipe. Because all of these things you can have in your house, in your freezer, in your refrigerator, and in your pantry closet. So to start off, we're going to start with one box or one quart or four cups of chicken stock. Now I use the chicken bone broth that I get at Walmart. It's delicious, it's the Sam's Choice. But you can use whatever chicken stock or chicken broth you like. If you don't have any on your pantry shelf, you can make four cups of chicken bouillon and that will work just fine. We're also gonna use one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of celery soup. I have about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, one brick of cream cheese that I have cut into cubes, and the magic that happens here, these are southern style hash browns. These are the diced kind of hash brown potatoes that they do not have the added peppers and onions, but if you had the Potatoes O'Brien, those would work here as well. If you don't have this kind and you have like frozen shredded hash browns, those will work here too. It doesn't matter what kind of frozen potatoes you just want. This is a two pound bag of the diced hash browns. So like I said, if you only have the shredded ones, they work too. Now we're going to season this up with, I have a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, a half teaspoon each of kosher salt and fine ground black pepper, and I have a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. Now, if you made your chicken stock with chicken bouillon, don't use the extra chicken bouillon, okay? Just let it ride because this chicken stock is not very salty and so you really need the extra chickeny bouillon saltiness to make this delicious. And later on, we're gonna be adding some heavy cream, but that is optional. This is a recipe I found in my Facebook feed. It didn't call for some of the things you see here because I tweaked it. And this is the most delicious, quick and easy potato soup. You're gonna love it. This fed my family of four um, for two dinners. And so it makes a lot of leftovers and you can freeze it after it's cooked if you want to and it's gonna be absolutely perfect, thawed out and reheated. So I'm gonna grab the crock pot vessel and we're gonna throw this together. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get all of our liquid ingredients in here. So in goes our chicken stock. That's our cream of chicken soup. I don't know if this will come out. There's our cream of celery soup. That one came out pretty easy. Um, I always like to scrape these cans because I figured, you know, there's a, ends up being a lot left in there and you paid for it. That's what I always say, you paid for it. You may as well use it. Um, I'm gonna take a whisk to this and just get this nice and blended up. The truth of the matter is, you can just throw all of these ingredients in the crock pot. You don't even need to worry about blending them up. I just like to do that because that's who I am. Because this is, as it cooks, it's gonna get all blended anyway, so it's all good. Now I'm gonna add all of our seasonings. There goes our chicken bouillon, our salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Again, give this a little bit of a blend. Now I'm gonna toss in our cream cheese. And I cut it up into little cubes. It's gonna break down and it's going to help make this soup delicious and creamy. And it's gonna give it a really beautiful texture. We're gonna toss in our cheese now. And now I'm gonna move to a wooden spoon and give this a stir. And now we're going in with our potatoes. and give that a good stir, get everything nice and incorporated. Now the first time I made this, we loved it and I actually turned it into broccoli potato cheese soup by adding a bag of chopped frozen broccoli into the crock pot about an hour before we ate dinner. And it was lovely. We really, really enjoyed that. So that's an option for you as well. This is ready to go in your crock pot sleeve. We're gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna cook this on low, important. Don't cook this one on high. And this one is one that I would suggest you make if you're gonna be home. You're gonna wanna put this on low for about four hours. You're gonna wanna stir this often after it starts bubbling because you don't want it to burn. We've got a lot of creamy goodness in here and that could have a tendency to over brown or burn. So pop it in your sleeve on low for about four hours. When this is ready to go, I'll come back and I'll show you what we do next. 
All right, at this point in the video, and I apologize because we seem to have lost a clip. Our battery died and evidently purged the clip where we were talking about the soup being finished up. So we make the best of a bad situation by showing you this partial clip where we are stirring the soup. It's absolutely beautiful and delicious and thick. But I will say when this soup cooks up, it is very, very thick. If you prefer potato soup that is a little less on the thick side, then I actually added a cup of heavy cream in here and a cup of my favorite bacon bits. Now I buy the cooked bacon bits, the real bacon bits, and they come in a big bag and I buy them from Sam's Club. You can also get them in a smaller bag in the regular grocery store at Walmart. And I added a cup of those right to the soup, stirred them in, and you can add these at the beginning of the cooking process with all of the other ingredients. I honestly just forgot. So the other thing is that in retrospect, this could really be started off with eight cups of chicken stock. So that's up to you. If you wanna use four cups of stock and four cups of water, then you can adjust the bouillon or what have you to suit your taste and your seasonings also. This soup in the end is very thick but very delicious. Um, the leftovers I always add more liquid to when I reheat them and doesn't really matter one way or the other. You're either gonna like it super thick or you're gonna go ahead and thin it out. Do it to taste. It's entirely up to you. So there you have it. We're gonna plate this up and we're gonna show you what it looks like. All right, our soup is ready to go and all we have to do now is fix it to your liking. So we're gonna put some cheddar cheese because you know you can't have too much cheddar cheese in potato cheese soup in my opinion and then we're gonna put some more bacon bits and you can crisp these up in the microwave or you can just take them right out of that bag or you can leave the bacon out altogether this would also be really great with ham if you have some leftover ham from the holiday you can mince that up really nice and uh, and toss it in the soup while it's cooking it'll be delicious you can put some smoked sausage in here that would be really nice as well and then i'm going to top it off with just a little bit of green onion because i think that really makes all the difference in how delicious this tastes so that is how you make a delicious potato cheese soup right from your pantry and your freezer and your fridge. So I hope you give this a try sometime soon. We have eaten this before and we love it and I haven't shared it with you. And today I knew I just had to because I was getting ready to make it. So I hope you do give this a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.